Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and I'd like to wish you a Happy New Year from the mountains of West Virginia. I'm back out at the retreat location and this is the first video of the new year. In today's video we're going to take the ICOM IC7200 HF radio to the field again. But unlike my last video where I used the Chameleon HF loop antenna, this time we're going to demonstrate ICOM's AH4 automatic wire and whip antenna tuner. Now I've shown this antenna tuner in previous videos, but we really haven't gone into this antenna much. This is a random wire or long wire slash whip antenna tuner. It's got a ground post on the rear, and we'll show you that later. And then an antenna post. It has two cables that you have to install yourself. ICOM provides them. It's a 16-foot control cable that plugs to the back of the radio that provides the tuner tuning instructions and power. And then, of course, a 16-foot piece of coax cable to connect to the radio so you can actually get to the antenna and receive and transmit. So we're going to take the AH4 antenna tuner with a long wire antenna here we made real quickly. I have a spool here of multi-strand copper cable and we pulled off about a hundred feet and that's really all you need to get going is about a hundred feet and of course we got the ICOM radio there nestled safely in the military surplus Falcon 2 radio made by Harris Corporation and I did a previous video on this bag and below that we have two sealed lead acid batteries with hardened power systems bat pack on top of that and we'll show you that once we get this deployed so I'm going to take a few moments here and pack up this stuff and put it on the four-wheeler we're going to head off the face of the mountain here and find a nice secluded undisclosed location and see how fast we can set up emergency communications with an HF radio in the field send and receive some HF email with the digital modem pack it up and bug out and show the versatility and mobility of the ICOM IC7200 HF radio and its partner antenna tuner the AH4 automatic antenna tuner let's get this packed up and head off the mountain guys alright guys we're all packed up we're going to head down off the face of the mountain and find a good location to set up this radio. We'll see you there. Alright guys, I think I found our spot. Came down an old orchard road and there's a log over there. We're going to set up all the radio equipment on that and run that antenna out this way. So this is a pretty quiet, undisclosed location in the mountains of West Virginia. Let's see if we can send and receive some HF email from here. Alright guys, we found an operating position here a tree that fell down. We put up a shelter half to keep the sun out of our eyes. We've got the antenna tuner connected, the control cable, and the RF cable going out to the tuner. Now the antenna is not set up yet, but we got the radio up and running. And I'm going to switch hands with the camera here and see if I can turn it on. We have power to the radio. We have power to the Pactor modem. And I'm going to try to step over this log gracefully. And we'll show you the battery pack with the power supply. And there's two sealed lead acid batteries charged up. And that gray module there is hardened power system bat pack with the LED voltmeter. So we got 12 and a half volts, so we got some good power. And now we're going to set up the antenna. We're going to put up a long wire antenna. And some of you might ask why I have two sections of wire there. Well, one's the antenna, the actually the shorter piece, and the longer piece, which is about a third longer is what they call a counterpoise or the other half of the antenna when you don't have an earth ground to connect to you have to balance out the other side of the system in this case the antenna tuner so we're going to provide two wire leads off of that tuner down there off the antenna post we're going to use the long wire and on the ground post we're going to run some wire down that way and that's going to be one third longer than the actual antenna wire so the tuner doesn't have any problems distinguishing which half it's supposed to be tuning. So what I'll do here is I'll pause, we'll get the antenna wire hooked up, and lay out the counterpoise, fire up the radio, and send and receive some HF email from our undisclosed location in the mountains of West Virginia. Well, there you go guys, we have an HF email connection with the station in New York with the ICOM IC7200, but this time we're using the AH4 automatic wire antenna tuner sitting down here just below me with a long wire going out to that tree there and we'll see if we can zoom in on that cable reel so that's about a hundred feet long and then we have a counterpoise that runs up the hill towards the ATV on the old orchard road and that gives us balance to the tuner that's the other half of the antenna and it took about 35 minutes to get it all set up but we're operational here in the field 
and sending and receiving HF email from our undisclosed location and I'll go ahead and initiate one more connection with that station in New York just to show you how clear it is without knocking the laptop down there we go we're connected again and I'll go ahead and turn the volume up so you can hear that and that's a solid connection so I think this is a good demonstration that shows you how versatile and tactical the ICOM IC7200 HF radio can be and what a benefit it is to have an AH4 automatic antenna tuner if you're looking for a way to throw quick expedient tactical antennas get your communications out and pack it up and get moving so now that we demonstrated this works I'm gonna go ahead and break everything down load it back up in the four-wheeler and head back up to the retreat and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with another ICOM IC7200 video with the matching AH4 automatic antenna tuner happy new year's guys